no one's joined. is um, all 100% linen, all made in Melbourne. And the manufacturers, I'm so excited about being collaborating with KE Design. They're in Melbourne here and um, they have special needs workers working in their factory, which I just love this collaboration. So we've done um, uh, tablecloths and table runners. We've also done um, napkin range and placemats plus tea towels. And these are boxed up and they're fantastic um, small gift, I think, so, and really easy to send overseas. And there's quite a few designs in the range. Um, I have my um, cushion range as well, which there's a little bit of stock left now, and I'm looking at um, reproducing these with KE, so look out for those in the near future. I have a few of my trays left, which was a, um, a collaboration in the US, and I was very excited about, about that with the Feather and Banks unit. Um, the candles, these are 100% soy wax candles and they've got the most delightful um, fragrances and this is a Melbourne um, small manufacturer as well so really excited to collaborate with, with, um, with him. I have my cards of course so there's um, quite a few in the range there. And my scarves which were actually made in India but I'm sort of... Um, excited because it's a really fantastic manufacturer, very reputable and they do pay their workers really well. Tony Baloney says love your work. Oh that's very nice Tony, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> nice comments. Um, I wanted to show you, um, actually had a wear scarf, so I'm wearing one of the, the um, New King Fisher black and white range. There we go. And just to give you a little demo of how to wear it, or well, how I wear it anyway. I do about a three quarter and then flip around like that and these are really warm, they're made of silk. Alki says beautiful as always. Oh, no, Alka, thank you very much, she's pretty sweet. <laughs> um, and I also have a new, so this is a butterfly design. Detail. This is the stock I have actually because the manufacturer is closed at the moment. So what you see online right now is pretty much it until um, we sort of get reopened. So. Kerry says gorgeous scarves. Oh, thanks Kerry. Kerry. <laughs> That's very sweet. Um, I have these um, unframed works here which are all original pieces and some are sort of um, older pieces that um, you know I just have kind of sitting around. So. The, a lot of these will be on the website, but some of them aren't actually. So if you see anything here you like, let me know. That was one of my very first prints, I think. Big trees from below. So it's an etching. And of course, those who know me well know I'm into birds and the black cockatoo is one of my favourites. So. so come on into the actual studio where the heat is on. And I hope you've got you a cup of tea or something nice to drink. And I just wanted to show you some of my new work. 
And these have been framed up by Hampton Framers um, locally here and he does such a beautiful job. And you can see with the float mounting, so it's raised off the backboard there, so you get to see the beautiful paper. These are all one-off um, original prints, so I won't make two exactly the same. Um, the birds and the, some of the flowers are a repeatable image because they're a solar plate etching, which I'll talk to you a bit about in a moment. And the backgrounds are mono printing with actual foliage out of the garden. I've been working on some quite large pieces. These are uh, 120 by 80. And uh, these are started as mono prints for the moment. And then I've got to work out what to, um, to do with them. This one here, the wattle bird's one of my favorites, of course, and see him in the garden here in Port Melbourne a lot. And I do love making greens. So with my colors, I do generally make the colors up. Um, they're not straight out of the tube. So that's why these are quite unique. This one isn't finished yet, but um, I kind of have them sitting around for a little bit and then I decide what I'm going to do with them. So this is sort of giving you a good idea of the stages. Each little piece you see on it, it is um, run through the press. So these large works are pretty exciting. I've, um, it's pretty unwieldy trying to hold this when it's a wet piece of paper, but um, I'm really, really enjoying it. Off the light there. And my Banksy is one of my favourites, of course. All right, so I wanted to show you my beautiful baby, which is my printing press. Um, this I've acquired from Queenscliff Gallery and Workshop and um, the lovely Sula and Theo took very good care of it. It's a, um, an electric press which is fantastic because it will actually save my um, hands in the long run. So you know, it'll work a lot longer which will be terrific. So. And um, this is my office which I do spend too much time in but um, I've made it kind of cosy and I do put one of my candles on and have a cup of coffee and get to work. I wanted to show you my, um, I've got a new online workshop um, which has just been launched, which is an introduction to liner cut printing, which I do, I've done a fair bit of. And um, this is my little setup to, to actually film. It's quite a small space, but I tend to get quite a bit out of it. So um, the lights have been fantastic. This is my little rig where I can hold, hold my camera. And um, the next workshop I'm putting together at the moment is a concertina um, book out of your linos. Alki says, how long would it take to finish a design on average? On average, woo. Finishing a design, well, that's kind of interesting. I have lots of paper, I'll show you of my backgrounds here. So I tend to work on a few backgrounds at a time. <laughs> so here's quite a pile. And there's uh, about two drawers of this actually. So and smaller pieces here. And I come back over the top of these. So they, these could sit in the drawer for quite a long time, but then I'll have a look if I make a new drawing and make a new plate, then I'll pull out these and have a look what might suit. So on average, I couldn't tell you, <laughs> so probably a month or so by the time you've got it kind of together. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to show you. Oh, yeah. So the um, yeah. So I'm excited about my liner cut, um, the new workshop I'm about to to run, and also I'm collaborating with the lovely lady Sabina, and she's a meditation mindfulness coach, and we're doing a little kind of workshop to do with that. So look out for that in the future as well. Here's my inking up space. So these are some of my solar plates. I do have lots more tucked away. And this is where I ink up, so I'm going to show you that in a moment. My beautiful um, roller, which a um, guy in Melbourne makes these at MES, and it's just been wonderful. I have been um, trying my hand at a bit of painting, which has been a little bit scary, <laughs> but because I haven't painted like this in such a, while, a long time, and I'm using acrylic paint, which is kind of different too. But really enjoying that process, just working on some little things. 
Um, I love collaborating with artists and Lisa Seward is my very good friend and um, I collaborated on a few works together and these are just some that I thought I might like to show you. And um, here's another couple of framed up pieces and this I'm sort of really loving this black and white range that I've been doing. This Banksia was found at the Black Saturday fires so um, it's kind of got real meaning, especially for lots of Aussies, I guess. So. Well, I wanted to point out um, my beautiful jacket <laughs> because a very good friend, Cindy Smith, um, who's an incredibly talented artist and um, garment maker, has made this for me. So she asked me to print on fabric my, a couple of my etchings. So here we go. And I just wanted to point that out before I take it off. So I'm going to do a little bit of a demonstration now. soaking um, one of those prints that you saw in the drawer I've been soaking at the moment so the paper does need to be dampened um, to be printed on. Now I'll just um, I'll grab my stool here. So the press is pretty high even for me I'm six foot one and can you imagine <laughs> I need to, to um, sit on the press to actually tighten it both sides at the same time. machine is a beautiful machine to work. Just make sure the roller is down. Same distance. And I've got felts on here, which it helps to push the um, ink into the paper. So I'll just move that machine to one side. So two buttons for a bit of safety, which is Right, because you do not want to get your hands jammed under that little roller there. And okay, I'm going to print up a bank seal which I know is going to fit on this piece of paper. And I'm going to use a um, nice crimson red. And these are um, oil-based inks, and it's a brand called Charbonneau, which is really beautiful and luxurious. But a nice bright red. And beautiful light yellow. So these are all beautiful colours of the banks here. And I'll just show you the plate. This is a photopolymer film, and it's um, it's activated by using a drawing of mine, and then um, putting the sun and water to wash out. So just got to grab one thing. mix this this ink into a nice color that's going to suit my drawing so I've got my red yellow and red Fenja says, would love to see your etching plate library. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I can show you my library for sure. And Jackie Lowry says, amazing to see you sleepless in Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> it's freezing. Jackie is what I'll say. It is, free. it is freezing at the moment, but I guess I'm working, so I'm sort of, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to mix 
Okay, so I'm going to, this is a, um, a wiping cloth, which helps me to push that ink right into the lines of the drawing. So I use a different cloth for each colour, just so that I'm not mixing in too much and I'm getting that bright yellow sort of sitting. There we go, I'll just wipe around that now. So every single image is pretty much inked up in similar way. So Elka's question of how long it takes, <laughs> it's how much energy I have I guess to, to do this. So swipe the edges there. I'm almost ready to print this one. And um, very topical at the moment, I think. We need our bees. Black. Okay, I'm, just, I'm gonna do two colors on this, um, on this plate actually, which is a little tricky, especially with black and yellow. <laughs> very, very hard. Just pushing the ink into those lines. Away that excess. I want that to be nice and clean, so I'm just going to use a cotton bud around the edges there. Okay, and where he's yellow, I'm just going to wipe out that area. some of the yellowing. You could also hand colour this part as well, but it's sort of nice to do it by printing. Okay, we're almost ready to print.
hands. <laughs> so I'm grabbing out my paper here, which I pre-prepared earlier, of course. <laughs> Down from paper, I'll just wipe off all that extra water. <coughs> Gina says, is the cloth for, for wiping away scrim? No, I'm actually using an Akua wiping cloth because the, the solar plate um, is actually quite... And um, it's um, yeah, it's a lot softer on the plate. So um, your cool wipes are really, really great. I'm hoping that um, I've been buying them from the US, but I'm hoping that um, some of our art stores here will actually um, um, stock them. So. So this is all mono printing, and then I'm just adding the solar on the top now. <coughs> and just thinking about the direction. And I'm going to pop both plates on at the same time because they're in different areas. Bring up here. Backing sheet, so we don't keep doing this to the cloth, <laughs> the uh, felts. Now it's just a matter of working out whether I want to add anything else. So I'll now put this into my drying rack, which is just a drawer. Draw over here. With some blotting paper. And I'll put a heavy board on the top so that it stays flat whilst it's drying. And then come back to it in a week or so and decide whether I want to add anything. <coughs> To it. Christopher Vine says it's beautiful. Oh, thank you, Chris. That's very sweet. Um, I did want to show you my, there was a question about my, my image library, and I literally have two boxes <laughs> like this of images, and they're all categorised because I have lots of flowers and animals, and you know, this is a type of um, Australian bush, the Corrier. Can you pull one out? Pull one out, I sure can. So this is made lots of different plate sizes. There you go. And there's dragonflies. This is an old type of plate. So I've been doing this for a number of years now and the, the materials have changed a little, but um, they're pretty consistent these days. So, and some flowers. This is the um, euphorbia. And I'll show you some of the drawings as well they, and how they start. So there's the, there's the Banksia. It's on a trace paper film and it's drawn with ink and pen. And it's one of the Banksias there. So I've made a plate out of this drawing. And that's printed up. There's another one, a little kingfisher, which is a fairly new design. So 
that's it. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the demo and a tour of my studio. Please visit my website. Um, I have a sale going until 6 p.m. tomorrow, Sunday. And um, yeah, I'd love to have you visit when the time's appropriate. And yeah, I have another live at three o'clock today. So please join me then. Okay, bye.